Okay, so now we're looking at word problems with Pythagoras. Um, Pythagoras, again, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Having to do with the right angle triangles, that was in the last video that you hopefully you watched. So, um, word problems. People get all freaky when it comes to word problems. Um, and I don't know why. Um, the, people, the reason why people, I think, um, don't get word problems is the reading part. They don't want to read, and also you don't like to draw diagrams. I think it's important to do both. Read the word problem carefully and then draw a diagram. And since we're talking about Pythagorean word problems, word problems dealing with Pythagoras, you know that the diagram somewhere along the line is going to have a right angle triangle where you'll have to solve for either A, B, or C. And it's really hard to do these questions if you don't draw a diagram, I think. So, let's take a look at this one here first. A door is 2 meters high and 1 meter wide. So do it. Draw a little door. Um, when I say a door, I mean the door space. Like that. The space for the door is 2 meters high and 1 meter wide which means, you know, doors are rectangles. We assume this one's a rectangle, so that means it's like this. Okay? And the question is, could a square piece of plywood with the sides 2.2 meters fit through this door? So you've got a square piece of plywood. Square means all four sides are the same, and it's 2.2 meters all around. Can this plywood fit through this door. Well, obviously you won't be able to carry the plywood straight through the door because it's only 2 meters here and this is 2.2, even though it's not drawn to be taller than 2, but anyways, 2.2 will not fit straight across. But what if we take this plywood and slant it most of you probably had some experience moving things, large things. You don't just carry them straight through. Sometimes if you slant them, it's easier to fit through the door. So if we were to take the plywood and slant it through like that, would it be able to fit? Could 2.2 meters fit in there? So what we're asked to find is, what is that diagonal distance for the door space? But then how do I going to figure that out? Well, do you see what I see? I see a right angle triangle. In fact, I see two of them, actually. There is a right angle triangle. And that's what these word problems are all about. Read the question carefully, draw a diagram, and then find a right angle triangle and solve. So here's a right angle triangle. We want to figure out what this distance is right there. And we're given that distance and that distance. This looks like a job for a squared, b squared, c squared. So let's use our formula. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And again, if we're going to do the whole formula work answer thing, FWA, there's the formula. Our work. What is the a squared? Now, um, I could pick this as my a or that as my a. Remember, it doesn't matter for the a and b. Let's just pick this as the a. So for our work, we we'll put 1 squared, and then 2, well, I will choose that as our b, it'll be 2 squared, and our c, the c side, we don't know what it is, so let's just leave it c squared, and then we just do the math, whoa, I need some room here, 1 squared plus 2 squared, 1 squared plus 2 squared. 1, one squared plus 2 squared. Well, what is 1 squared? It's just 1 times 1, which is 1. What is 2 squared? Well, it's just 2 times 2, which is 4. Equals c squared. Uh, and we add this side. 4 plus 1 is 5. Equals c squared. Now, at this point, what do you do? You want to get the c by itself. You want to get the c by itself. But it's being squared. Do the opposite of squaring, which is the square root. Do it to this side do it to that side, that gives us with just c. Then we need to find the square root of 5 to get our final answer. And the square root of 5, use a calculator if you don't know. 
and it is five square root button which is right there 2.23 now let's round this uh, to two decimal places 2.24 2.24 is what it's going to be 2.24 meters that is the opening we just figured out so and the whole point of this is to take that number. That is this distance right here. Will this, now let's answer the question, will this plywood board that's 2.2 fit through here? And it looks like, you know what? It's not going to. It's not going to. Because we found the square root of 5 to be 2.23. It's just like that, the 2.2 plus that little extra... I bet you it's not going to fit. So no, it won't fit. It's close, but it won't fit. Done. Let's do another one. A table, 56 centimeters long and 33 centimeters wide. How long is the diagonal? Let's draw a table. And we're saying it's 56 centimeters long, so we'll call this 56 centimeters. Same with the top, and 33 centimeters wide, 33 centimeters, 33 centimeters. How long is that diagonal? The diagonal meaning from there to there, going across. So what is that length? How do you figure that out? Do you see what I see? Yes. Do you see your right angle triangle? You should. There it is right there. Another one up right there as well. So let's, it's another a squared, b squared, c squared. We've got our a and b squared, and we've got to figure out this diagonal length, the c squared. So again, formula work answer, formula work. Leave some space for that, and answer. We put our formula in, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Now, who's your A, who's your B? Like I said, it doesn't matter who your A or B is. You can make that your A or make that your A or make that your B or make that your B. It makes no difference. I'll call this my A, 56. 56 will sub in for that. 56 squared. Instead of 33, we'll put B, uh, instead of B, we'll put 33. And C, we don't know, so we'll leave it as C squared. 56 squared, we got a figure that out with the calculator, 56, and again, there's the square button right there, x to the power 2. If you don't have that, then you can just go whatever number you're dealing with times that same number, gives you the squared number, 56 times 56, or if again, if you have that x to the 2 button, it gives it to you, 3136 is what we put down here, 3136 plus 33 squared, 33 squared, 1089, is 1089, equals c squared, we add those two up, should have left my calculator alive, 3136 plus 1089 gives you 4225, 4225, equals c squared. I don't know what c squared is, and Norton, well, I know what c squared is now, but I don't care. I want just c. How do I get rid of the square? I do the opposite of squaring, which is the square root. Same to the other side as well. And when you find the square root of 4,225, which I still have in my calculator, I hit the square root button, I get 65, a nice even number, 65. So the answer is 65. 65 what? Let's not um, miss out the units. We're talking centimeters, centimeters, so this also has to be centimeters. That 65 centimeters is that missing length. 65 centimeters. Done. That's how long the diagonal is. So this word problem stuff is not too hard. It's just reading the question, drawing a diagram, finding the right angle triangle, Pythagoras. Off you go. Okay, how about this? A f There's always ladder questions in Pythagoras, and I don't want to be left out here, so I thought I'd put one in. A 5-meter ladder leans against a wall. The ladder is 3 meters from the base of the wall. 
How high up the wall does the ladder reach? Okay, so a five meter ladder leans against a wall. I don't know about you, but I think I need to draw a wall. And the ladder, the way a ladder leans against the wall, hopefully you know, it doesn't lean like right against it like that. It gotta have some space. So let's say the ladder leans like that. So that is your ladder. And it's five meters long. They see that the ladder is three meters from the base of the wall. From the bottom of the wall, the ladder is three meters. So from here to there is three meters. And what we want to figure out is how high up this wall, which goes up and up and up and up and up, how high up this wall does the ladder reach? So I want to figure out, there's the ladder, it reaches to that point in the wall. I want to know what is this distance right here. So that is what I need to find. How am I going to do that? <gasps> do you see what I see? I see a right angle triangle. There. So let's do it again. Formula work answer. Formula work. And leave lots of space for the answer. Okay, so it's a squared plus b squared equals c squared because we have a right angle triangle. We're missing side. Um, who's the a? Well, this could be the A, or that could be the A. Either one. Let's call that A. That's 3 squared. We don't know what this is. That is the B. So B squared is what we're trying to look for. Again, if you switch these two around, it makes no difference. But you need to realize that the thing that we have, the thing we normally have to look for, we already have. We have the C. We are told that it's 5 meters. So that's 5 squared. The C side is here. So this is one of those questions, remember we have to do a little extra step to it. Um, and I'll show you in a second. Okay, 3 squared is 3 times 3, which is 9. B squared is just B squared. And, oh, I better work fast. And 5 squared is 25. Now what do you do? Again, we've got to solve for B. B is not by itself. It's being bugged by the 9 and the square, reverse bed mass, get rid of the adding subtracting thing first, get rid of the 9. How do you get rid of the 9? Subtract 9 from this side, subtract 9 from that side. 9's are gone, you're left with b squared equals 25 minus 9. 25 minus 9 is 16. And now, for the, oops, now for the answer, What is the square root? Well, that's what you have to do. Take the square root of this side, take the square root of that side to get b by itself. What's the square root of 16? I don't think you need a calculator for this. It's 4. It is 4. So that height is 4 meters. This is one, this is one of those the 3, 4, 5 triangles that uh, I may have talked about before. For That works for Pythagoras. Anyway, so that's the answer to that one. So you had to do that little subtraction step there because we were given the seaside. When you're given the seaside, the hypotenuse, then you have to do this little extra step of getting the missing variable, or getting the unknown variable by itself. Okay, last one. A boat leaves a dock traveling north. Really pay attention to this question. So a boat leaves a dock and it's traveling north at 10 kilometers an hour for two hours. Then the boat goes west for three hours, going at 20 kilometers an hour. How far is it from the dock now? This screams for a diagram. So let's just pretend we're starting here at the dock and the boat is traveling north, and hopefully you know your directions. I'll do on the side here. Never eat shredded wheat. Never eat soggy wieners, whatever you want to call it. So we're going north. North is up. We're going to go north. Now we're traveling at 10 kilometers per hour for two hours. So how far are we actually going? We travel 10 kilometers in one hour, how much will we go in two hours? 
20. So we're going to go north 20 kilometers. So that is what we just figured out from there. Then it goes west. So now we're here. Now it's going to go west. West, which is this way. This way. We're going to go west for three hours, going at 20 kilometers in one hour. 20 kilometers per one hour for three hours. So it goes 20 kilometers in one hour. In three hours, it'll go three times 20. 60 this way. 60 kilometers. So now the boat is here. Killer picture of a boat. It's here. How far is the boat from the dock? How are you going to figure this out? <gasps> Do you see what I see? I see a right angle triangle. Boom. That's a right angle triangle. So to figure out that distance there, it's just a squared, b squared, c squared. So let's do this formula work answer. Formula, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. The work we'll plug away at. <coughs> a, which, which is the a side? This or this? Doesn't really matter. Let's pick that to be the a side. If you pick 60 to be the a side, it will make no difference to your answer. Plus, the b side is here 60. And the c side, get it, the c side. The boat, the water, never mind. Um, again, if you're ever stuck on what this, where the seaside is, the little boxy thing always points to the seaside. That the seaside. The boat, the dock, the seaside. Come on, you should be laughing. Anyways, that we don't know, so let's leave it as c squared. What is 20 squared? Well, I know you're probably going to run to your calculator, but think, what is 2 squared? It's 4. So what do you think 20 squared is? Take a guess. Okay, well, I'll do it on the calculator for you anyways. 20 squared gives me 400. What's 6 squared? So what do you think 60 squared is going to be? Take a guess. Can you do it faster than me on the calculator? 60 squared is 3600. And c squared, we don't know yet. Add these two up, 400 plus 3600. I hope you don't need a calculator for that. If you do, it's okay. Sorry if I offended you by saying that. Um, it's 4000. And now we're going to take the square root of that. The square root of 4000 is 63.2. Two. We're going to round to one decimal place. Let's go to two decimal places. 63.2 if it was one decimal place. 63.25 because that's going to round up if we're going to two decimal places. 63.25 is our answer. So our answer for C is 63.25. The units are kilometers. Let's not forget that. Circle the answer if you need to, which I think you should. And yeah, that distance there is 63.25. Does that make sense? Remember, the seaside is always longer, and that is longer than that and that. Yeah, it seems, seems to make sense. Okay. And here are the skill testing questions. Uh, two word problems for you. There you go. Good luck, bud.